skyscraping flyers from Dayton University went after their 12th victory of the season at the expense of LaSalle College, but Coach Ken Leffler's explorers, faced by their star performer, All-American Tom Gola, found the antidote to the altitude and led the Ohio team a merry chase. Dayton coach Tom Blackburn's starting five have lost only three games, and sophomore Bill Yule, their 6'11 setter, is one of the Flyers' biggest threats. Johnny Horan, a junior, stands six foot eight, has averaged 12 points a game, and his all-around ability is well known by the Explorers. The story of the game is in LaSalle's first period shooting. Dayton is in possession, but LaSalle's Tom Gola steals the ball and races the length of the court to score with a layup. Coming right back, LaSalle's Charlie Greenberg arches a nifty one-hander, and it's two more points for LaSalle. Displaying speed and accuracy, LaSalle really pours it on. Bob Maples tallies with a one-hander, and by hitting 11 out of 20, LaSalle leads 28 to 12 at the end of the period. The tall flyers fight to overcome the lead. Horan misses with a hook, but Bill Yule follows it up to score for Dayton. There's no stopping the explorers as Charlie Greenberg dunks in a left-handed hook. The camera slows the action to catch LaSalle's Tom Gola in a drive-in, proving that even an All-American can miss. But LaSalle has a 43 to 25 halftime advantage. In the second half, the high flyers, bewildered by LaSalle's deadly shooting, rally their forces. Jack Sally hits with a one-handed jump to narrow LaSalle's lead 55 to 30. The explorers are superior in every department. Watch how skillfully they handle the ball. And when the opportunity presents itself, Bob Maples dunks in another deuce for LaSalle. The dash and brilliance of Tom Gola's superb all-around play is too much for the flyers to handle. Tom, 15, scores with one of his specialties, and LaSalle takes a 60-39 to third-quarter lead. Dayton shows some of the form that it displayed in extending unbeaten Western Kentucky to three extra periods. Johnny Horan, number 15, passes into Bill Yule, who puts it away. But LaSalle's speedy quintet makes that up in short order as Frank O'Hara deposits two points for the Explorers. Playing brilliantly, the Explorers continue to pour the leather through the hoop. Tom Gola scores with his eighth field goal in 20 shots. LaSalle's talented subs regain possession, then lose the ball, but the Dayton scoring punch comes too late as the Red Hot Explorers greatly enhance their national standing by whipping the towering Flyers from Dayton 82 to 58.